Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. Uh, quick video regarding the subject of monitoring audio in Ubuntu Linux. If you want to start monitoring, then how do you do that? Um, so before I get into that, I wanted to just say a couple of words about why monitoring is so useful. Um, monitoring audio, you might want to do it if you are recording something, whether that's you're recording a, uh, you know, a podcast or you're recording a screen cast with an audio component uh, or just about anything else you might want to record on a computer. Um, in those kind of situations, it's good to monitor your audio um, to hear what you sound like before you start recording. So like most things in life, uh, prevention is better than cure. So um, if you can fix your audio levels, fix your audio issues before you record, then it's better than having to go into post-production, whether your post, whether that post-production workflow is for audio or video and trying to do things like fix hisses or fix problems. And uh, that's another issue actually. Yesterday when I was recording some of these videos, I was getting a tiny bit of hiss from the USB microphones and it turned out that my levels were a tiny bit too high um, in my pulse audio and you're just looking at that now in fact if I just uh, diminish diminish my uh, myself here a little bit um, but you know it would have been better to um, basically go in and um, just hear what that was was sounding like essentially so um, before recording and the way you do that is you just can get the monitoring running now to be transparent not an expert I record these videos for um, my own use actually um, so a lot of the times I will forget how to do something because Linux is complicated Ubuntu is uh, audio is complicated and I like to have these videos that I can refer back to and say oh yeah this is how I set that up so for monitoring, um, it's a pretty simple command that you can just put into a terminal and that will load that into Pulse Audio. And then you will guess, you will see after this magic happens. And I'm actually just gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and mute the channels I'm not using just to be attempt to be safe. Um, so you will see the channel now. Actually, that was bad. That was a bad idea because uh, if I do that, then you're not going to see the channel working. So the channel you're looking at here is the loopback. Now I'm going to have to stop speaking because um, I this is going to get into the audio track for for here. So I'm just going to stop, and you can see the track is open now. That's the monitoring channel for the uh, webcam microphone there as a playback device. Um, now, what you need to do here basically is, or what you, how you would use this is, um, as you can see, I have the, um, I have both microphones being picked up. Now, the reason I said I'm not an expert and all that, which is for sure true, is what I haven't figured out yet about this is um, how to create the right loopback. So in this case, um, I have this microphone, the uh, podcasting mic, um, and I also have a microphone that I don't, I'm not using, I'm not recording into, I wouldn't care about. And that's the built-in microphone on this webcam, the C930E. And when I put that command in, the um, monitoring channel that it gave me was a loopback for the webcam and not a loopback for the Maono. Now, if I plug out the webcam, um, I will guess a loop back for them oh no but if i need the webcam to record myself and i want to monitor uh the the, the track from the podcasting audio i haven't yet figured out a way to do that but i'm sure i will uh figure that out today hopefully so basically once you've opened your monitoring channel let's open the one uh for the uh webcam again um loop back for the webcam let's unmute that now we can see we have levels going for that um, now what you can do is just put on your monitoring headphones and now I can hear myself there's a bit of latency but I can hear myself in the, in the headphones um, I'm just going to turn that off so basically that's pretty much what there is you just want to make sure that the loopback channel is going uh, where you want it to go so I went for built in audio stereo if I went for the HDMI audio the monitor would be coming through my um 
laptop uh, sorry through my desktop monitor the, the 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 lcd monitor that is which wouldn't be where i wanted to go and this would be the microphone which wouldn't be useful so i had to change that unmute that and then i can listen to with headphones or whatever uh that's the final thing i would say is that this is um if you are doing monitoring then um you might want to use headphones intended for this purpose uh, two that I'm aware of are uh, IEMs, in-ear monitors, such as Edimotics. These are basically earbuds um, that, you know, the earbuds you'd pick up in a high, high street retail store like Skull Candy, but they're kind of different. They are, um, they're really good at passive noise isolation. So I actually use them for blocking out um, outdoor noise because I am noise sensitive. Um, but uh, they also reproduce the audio well. And if you think about what, what these two features would bring together, well, basically, if you are trying to listen to your own uh, mic feed or you're trying to listen to a producer in a production environment, like you're a musician or whatever, um, then that's where these things, that's what they're designed to do. Um, take in a monitor feed and put it into the hardware intended for that purpose kind of a hacky use is to use them for blocking out noise, but that's what they're really intended for. Second thing is uh, studio headphones. So I picked up these uh, Audio Technicas recently in the US and um, these are uh, studio headphones. They're basically intended to reproduce sound um, authentically um, from, from my understanding. So, you know, a lot of headphones, the goal is to make the sound sound good. So when you're watching a movie or whatever that sounds all the tones are nicely balanced and the objective for these is more to so that you'll actually hear the audio including the flaws so you as an editor can uh, fix it whether you're editing editing audio or uh, audio with video uh, so that is basically it to recap oh final thing i wanted to say about pulse audio um, here is that um, what you can do is you have if you open up the advanced pane you will get latency. So I mentioned that when I put these on, I was getting latency in the in the loopback feed. Um, now, if you want to try to correct that, there is two ways. One, you could add latency to the microphone that you're monitoring. Um, I don't know if this is considered a poor practice or not, but that that's one way I, I was playing around with. And the second way is you could configure the latency um, on the loopback, uh, you can't actually do that here. So scratch, scratch that, scratch that. Um, that's basically um, what I figured out so far about monitoring audio. Ah, I'm just gonna open this and the loopback channel and output devices um, and input devices. So that's it, thanks for watching. I'd like to get more videos about uh, Ubuntu, Linux, and my adventures in audio and sound and OBS and all that good stuff, then feel free to subscribe.